On the other side of the lava fields outside of Reykjavik, Iceland, there's a new facility that could alter the calculation on climate change. Technology that might be able to help slow a warming planet, save melting glaciers, and stop the clock on climate change. It's called ORCA, and it sucks CO2 straight out of the atmosphere in a process called direct air capture. Scientists have known how to extract carbon from the air for decades. They've done it, for example, on submarines. But what's new is being able to do it on an industrial scale and in a way that makes economic sense. A Swiss company, Climeworks, opened it in September. Its co-founder, Christoph Gebald, spoke to us from Zurich during our visit. We need direct air capture as a solution for stuff we cannot reduce otherwise. What is that that we cannot reduce otherwise? It's emissions from agriculture, it's emissions from operations that physically have a hard time to, to avoid CO2, like aviation. Those white bags behind the row of fans may look a little odd, but they're at the heart of the process. These fans can suck about 10 tons of CO2 out of the atmosphere every day. They suck the air in to the back of those filters and the CO2 gets stuck to the filters. And when the filters get full, they use hot air to essentially shake the CO2 loose, send it through the pipes and capture it. Iceland is the perfect place for a plant that cleans the air because there's a lot of non-polluting geothermal energy to power it. And there's a good place to put the trapped CO2 afterwards, underground. So we are now standing on top of a volcano, an active one. That's where another company, CarbFix, right next door, comes in. Carrie Helgerson is the head of research and innovation. CarbFix takes unwanted emissions from the geothermal plant and injects them into the volcanic rocks below the facility. He showed us inside these igloo-type buildings where it's now doing the same thing to the CO2 captured by Climeworks as well. Roughly, Iceland could store about, say, 50 times the annual emissions of mankind. 50 liters per second are going in this direction. These pipes contain water with dissolved CO2 that gets shot into the rock below, where the gas chemically transforms into a solid so it can never escape. Nature cleans up after itself, so it, it takes CO2 naturally from the atmosphere and stores it in rocks. We are just speeding up the process using science and innovation. For decades, this was seen as fringe technology, but not anymore. It's a bit overwhelming, I, I must admit. Um, it's sort of like the Wild West. Everybody's scrambling to decarbonize now, whereas we should have started 10, 20 years ago. Climeworks already has customers paying upwards of $600 US per ton to have greenhouse gases removed from the air. But that's expensive, and the annual cleaning capacity of the Iceland facility amounts to just a few seconds of annual global emissions. Planting more trees might accomplish just as much. There's also the argument that carbon capture takes the pressure off big emitters to change their damaging practices. They designed the criterion. One of the country's most influential young environmentalists is Tina Hallgrim's daughter. She spoke about the urgency of cutting emissions at a recent conference in Reykjavik. But more importantly, where they agree when it comes to environmental and climate matters. But she's supportive of what Climeworks is trying to do. We really are at this point now that we just need to fight in every battleground and we need everyone to come together and we can't just skip one thing, we just need to do everything at the same time. But the emphasis should always be on emissions reduction, but this will come as something to, to help us just to bridge the gap that we need. Iceland is keen to be seen as a place that's an innovator in the fight against climate change and for good reason. Iceland is losing its ice. Well, we're going to go closer to the edge of the uh, glacier and uh, see how the glacier has retreated uh, in the years. That was abundantly clear on a side trip our crew took to the Vatnajökull ice cap with our guide Steinpor Arneson. He took us out onto a lagoon that grows every year 
as the glacier above it melts. Where we are now is pretty much where the glacier was 20 years ago. So on our right uh, would be the glacier and on, on our left would be the lagoon uh, 20 years ago. So the uh, lagoon has doubled in uh, size in uh, 20 years. Consider too that this lake is strikingly deep, 130 meters. That's a lot of melted glacier water beneath our boat. And all Icelanders pretty much see the change. The melting is faster than they, they ex expect. Now people would like the melting to, to, to stop. If carbon capture is going to help slow the warming of the planet, the curve ahead is steep. Rather than removing thousands of tons of carbon a year, the goal needs to be many millions of tons with much bigger plants. But in Iceland, this may be the beginning. Chris Brown, CBC News, near Reykjavik, Iceland.